Hey everybody. This is a video response video from Q Computer Channel for the Facebook parenting for the troubled team video. Now I've watched this video several times already and I showed it to um, my mom and dad, my grandparents have seen it on TV. I mean this video here is just a prime example of the importance of parenting. And for the father, I definitely have to say you done the right thing by shooting your daughter's laptop. Your daughter just went outrageous thinking her life was so difficult and y'all are such bad parents. I think you did the right thing to take control of the situation. Now she, had a, she has a wake-up call without her computer of what true reality is. And of course... I'm sure the daughter will probably, maybe will get to see this video unless somebody shows it to on YouTube because I mean of course the video has become so popular. But here is my message to her. You really think that high school and the basic amount of chores you have to do is so rough? You don't have a clue. Of course at the age of 15 or 16 you don't have the experience to know what hard life is. When you get, in, when you get into um, Let's say I'm 20 years old, I'm a full-time college student taking 13 credit hours at a local community college. College work is, um, it's about, it'd be like saying high school work times five, at least. Because you have a lot more responsibilities to have to deal with in college. Much bigger papers to write, much bigger tests to take. The stress level is so much higher, the deadlines, like I say, deadlines are so much harder. And I mean, you try, you want to try your best to make the best grades possible in your classes. And I mean, I mean, it's just a big, big stress combined with everything else in life. And of course, I'm taking a health course right now in college. And they say that college is probably one of the most stressful parts of life. Many, the good majority of suicides are created in college because the stress levels being so high. Anyways, back to the point. You really think you had it rough. Well, here's a good example of my buddy David. He is currently 19 and he, d he still doesn't have a computer. Over his entire life he has not had a computer. Now you're thinking uh, without a computer life sucks. Well it gets, it gets worse than that. You seriously think your parents um, are so rude to you by making you do all this so-called hard work. Well, think of it this way. How would you like it if, um, let's say, your power was only turned on half the time, you were living in a trailer in a very rough trailer park where um, lots of shootings were going on on a regular basis and everything, and um, let's just say that your parents um, are too busy doing drugs and um, this and that, your dad is in and out of jail, your mom is always um, bringing all these um, crackhead boyfriends home. How would you like that? How would you like it if um, you were put on the back burner in your family? Your family didn't really care much for you, only your grandparents um, had you on priority. How would you like it if um, your friend's family cared more about you than your own personal family? How would you like that? How would you like um, not even having the car to get to school? Let's say you had to walk to school or ride a bike to school because your parents couldn't afford to drive you to school and you couldn't get on the bus. How would you like that? So you really think you have a rough? You do not have a single clue of what rough life is. And my own father has experienced that too. At the age of 17, he was driving 50 miles one way to work and that wasn't only to... Um, furnish things for his own self but it helped furnish things for his family because his family was struggling because I mean it was a um, five kid family low income they spent most of the time growing up in a trailer park We're lucky to have electricity that sort of stuff and you are upset because um, you're having to do this little bit of chores and you're getting <laughs> your parents are giving you stuff like a nice computer and all that I mean, you just don't have a clue. And um, like I say, you should definitely appreciate the things that you 
get from your parents. You should go out of your way to do things for your mom and dad. Anyways, now I'm going to um, show you a video from last night when I called my buddy Tim and talked to him and got his opinions about this video. Not much. Um, I'm I'm recording right now because I'm making a response video for the Facebook parenting video. Have you seen that video yet? The what video? Um, it's called Facebook Parenting for the Troubled Teen. I thought you'd already saw that on face. It was um, on Facebook. Yeah, I've seen that. I'm sharing that. Yeah, I saw it too. Um, I'm actually creating a video response video for it right now. What are you? What are your opinions on that video? My opinion is he did exactly the right thing. Yeah. That's the problem. Uh, kids are just let loose to do whatever feels good sort of theology. Yeah. You know, and that ends up with uh, kids going crazy and killing their parents because of it. Bible says, uh, spare the rod, spoil the child. Right. You got to give, you know, don't beat your kids <laughs> and don't whip them senselessly. Uh -huh. Correct them. At least, you know, give them some correction. Right. Yeah, but, uh, you know, uh, what? What his, you know, daughter did was completely outrageous. Uh huh. I, was, I thought, uh, yeah, that's what she needed. She needed uh, to be taken away from the link and the association that she is now implying on how bad <laughs> her life is and, and how bad her parents are. Yeah, yeah. She thinks she really had it rough. I mean, look at, um, let's say David. You know, you know how rough he had it when he was growing up. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, good analogy, you know, like some people like David, yeah. and uh, some people that's not even as blessed as David, you know, that don't have anybody, yeah. at least he did have y'all, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that was a good blessing there, but a lot of others, uh, they don't have, they don't have any kind of help, you know, and they, they have to scratch and find out the hard way, you know, to survive, but, uh, you know, if you give too much liberty, this is the outcome from it, so yeah, I, I'm all with the, uh, with the guy, I'm on his side. Yeah, me too. Uh, I, you, you can tell he was really hot in the video too. From, I mean, when you get some man, you can barely speak right. Well, hey, well, do you know how much disrespect he was? He was awarded for what he has done for his. I know, I know. Clothes and shelters and loves and and gives you know uh, guidance to his his child. And then what does his kid do? Turns around and be nice. Yeah. His own, his own parents, both parents. You know, evidently he said, this is one for your mother, you know. So evidently she was that way to both of them. Uh -huh. And that's that disrespect and that's just, it's uncalled for. Yeah. Is that as, as we're talking right now, the video has over 15 million views on it and it was uploaded on the 8th. Uh, that one by him uh, shooting her laptop? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that, man. I, I, well, I'm going to share this. this <laughs> you know, it's funny. I'm not laughing at the situation. Yeah. I'm laughing at you know the extremes that he went to do it, and how, yeah. how he how he showed that you know this is for real. I, yeah. This is really hurt her. Uh, he he definitely her showed it. <laughs> and he's going to cut her link off. You know. Yeah. <laughs> not only is he going to cut it off, he's going to end it. He's going to shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've worked on computers a long time. And I've had clients tell me, well, I just about took my computer out there in the backyard and shot it with a shotgun. <laughs> well, I guess uh, people do that. Yeah. Now, I, uh, personally, I've been mad at him, but uh, I sort of just washed his way real quick when I realized, well, it's just a piece of machinery. Yeah. And to be mad at it, you know, I need to be doing it. So that's what he was trying to do, was trying to take control and to take away her, her access yeah. To doing that. No, and, and it turns out he was an IT tech, so <laughs> mm -hmm. he was trying to hide it from an IT tech. That's like trying to trying to lie to God. Yeah. See right through the doors. Uh huh. No, you can't hide that from, uh, especially from an IT tech. Yeah, somebody who knows all about computers and stuff. You know, like 
It's just like about stuff being blocked on Facebook. If something blocks me on Facebook, all I all gotta do is log into a different account and see them. Well, there's always there's always gonna be a, 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 a Hack. emergency password, just like Windows. You know, yeah. Emergency password to get in and out. Bankrupt. All kind of programs are gonna have emergency fundamentals to get in. Right. Um, so you know, and and most of them know that. And, and uh, <laughs> anyways, that was my video response for the YouTube video of Facebook parenting for a troubled teen. And of course, these are only my opinions about the video. Please do not post hateful comments about um, disagreeing with any of my opinions. These are just my opinions. It's just my thoughts. Thank you. Have a good day.